All right, so what I would say about silicone that is different from vinyl is that it's not as uniformed as vinyl. It's not as manufactured as vinyl. Um, I think painting can be as realistic as vinyl. Um, however, you know, I just feel like unless you're dealing with like these master artists, like I mentioned before, if you guys are in the chat box, you'll see like where I'm starting to do a series on, you know, silicone and stuff like that, which I need to get back to that. Um, you know, especially when you're dealing with ethnic and biracial or black babies and biracial babies, um, babies more of color, I should say, um, with more details, more painting, more layers, you are definitely going to run into some imperfections. Um, maybe not, maybe not, but it's, it's, you, you run in at a higher risk in that case, because of course, you know, you're dealing with more layers and so on and so forth. Um, there's different ways that people paint with silicone, different products that people use. Some people airbrush, um, to give a more smoother looking layer like type thing. I don't know why they airbrush. I think it's easier and faster, of course. Um, I don't particularly like airbrushing, but I can't, I have seen some done really nice. There's one artist and I'm not going to say the name because I'm not one thousand percent factual that she airbrushed but I'm almost certain that she does and she's probably the one and only artist that I actually would buy her work painted because she does an amazing job with her airbrushing um but I just like hand painting I like hand painted babies um give me the flaws and all but the details is just remarkable in the hand painted ones but and I think the the painting um settles better with the hand painted but that's just my personal opinion um <clears throat> maybe a little too much for me to you know put out here <laughs> but anyway um the the one thing about that is the one thing about silicone versus vinyl in my opinion is that they are not perfect per se none of them are perfect but I mean I have mix-ups on my vinyl too where I might you know end up accidentally baking something that I should have blended more or took off you know as far as color or painting and it get baked in on accident and then it's kind of there um well silicone is triple quadruply harder when it comes to that because you it's you don't it's not as forgiving you don't get no you know tape backs on uh silicone vinyl there is ways that people know how to strip them and all this stuff stripping silicone uh it just sounds too crazy for me i just i've never done it i don't want to do it um but yeah so silicone can be you know a crazy medium um I I happen to love it but where it lacks uh perfection it gives in other areas like the feel of silicone is crazy. I love I'm just going to get really close up on him. Um I love the way silicone feels. I love how soft and uh, squishy they feel and I just I just love it um I love the way that you could pose them and you know I don't know I you know I've co I collect both I love both I will always collect both um but for me silicone is just to me the next level of real so that's just my personal taste my personal opinion um, I just think it's the next level of real. Uh, but, you know, like I said, I, I think they're both, and, and I think we should, you know, respect people's choices. And, you know, if people value vinyl more than silicone, then so be it, or vice versa. But the fact still remains that silicone do hold 
its money value more than silicone. I'm sorry, more than um, vinyl. Silicone holds its value more than uh, vinyl. Vinyl, you're going to lose money usually. Um, or, you know, if it's a sought after artist or, you know, you have the potential to move it, move dolls in a circle of people that are, you know, know what the dolls are worth and, and, and value the dolls the same way you do, you may not lose money. I particularly don't usually lose money on my dolls when I sell them because I'm selfish like that. I won't sell them if, if I feel like I'm going to lose too much money. I'll just keep them myself. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, and I tend to try to make better choices when I buy and that's why a lot of people get upset when I say, oh, it's an investment for me. Um, that's why I don't invest in something that only I like. <laughs> um, and I mean, granted, I like what I like. I don't buy stuff because it's popular. But depending on the price, I do consider like, if I don't like this baby, will I be able to sell it? And will I be able to sell it for what I paid for it? Um... That's when it becomes, you know, you know, the deciding factor for me. Um, there's like, like I said, like there's a lot of Laura's out here by Bonnie Brown. I love Laura. Um, absolutely love Laura's uh, sculpt. Um, I think some people, have, a lot of people have done amazing jobs with that sculpt. Some of them all are starting to blend in together. And the reason why I feel like they're blending in together is because there's, you know, only so many different ways you could do a million Lauras. And some people kind of look at somebody else's Laura and be like, I want one like that Laura. So they try to paint their Laura like that Laura. So then there's another Laura that's similar to the last Laura and so on and so forth. Um, very few are like have a distinct coloring or you know, lot loads of details and stuff like that, that like really, you know, stand out. So for me to spend top dollar on a Laura, <laughs> it has to be one of those unique ones. Um, probably would have to be AA at this point because at this point it's a million beautiful Caucasian Lauras out there. And that's another thing. Um, Caucasian babies are not hard to find. Amazingly done Caucasian babies are not hard to find. And I'm not saying that it's not difficult and challenging to paint Caucasian babies because for me, being a black artist, um, I am not as skillful as some of these other, a lot of these other artists that paint Caucasians on a regular basis. It's not my strong suit. I can paint a Caucasian baby, but I don't know that I will put all the right markings and all that and stuff because that's not what I I am familiar with as much as I am black babies. So, um so I just I just wouldn't I probably wouldn't do well. But there so I'm not saying that it's not a well, I'm not gonna say I won't do well. I could do pretty good. I did a I did a few that actually was kind of really cute but they're more peaches and cream type or what I call peaches and cream um but what I'm saying is I mean I'm, I am gonna say that painting black babies are harder I am gonna say that um, more I'm gonna say more challenging for a lot of people um because the skin tones is just black babies have so many colors in them and, and and I'm not saying that Caucasian babies don't have a lot of colors in them, but my God, we we come in so many different shades and blends and we have all these unique markings and things that our babies have when they're babies and that change as they age. And you have to remember that when they once they hit three months, they they ch change from this, that the color change from that. You know, you could take a black baby to a grandma, to a black, black, black old lady. 
That baby can be two days old and she can tell you exactly what skin color that baby. Oh, no, baby. That baby ain't going to be no red, baby. That baby finna be black as soot. You know, that, that, <laughs> or, uh-uh, baby, that baby going to be butter pecan. Yes, indeed. Uh-uh, that baby going to be lighter than his daddy and darker than his mammy. You know, that's, that's, that, you know, we have some very distinct coloring. And, you know, it's fun. And, I, and I've heard other artists that are not black say, I like painting black babies because it's so many different ranges. And, it, you know, I can respect that f from an artist standpoint because if they're an artist, and, and, and come on, y'all, please don't start using this as an excuse when you don't even like black people because this ain't, I didn't give y'all out with that one. I'm talking about the people that was genuine that said it before the video. But a lot of people, you know, the artists be like, yeah, I just love it because I have such a wide range and I get to play with color more and all that stuff. I totally respect that. I've had a couple of uh, white artists tell me that years years ago before everybody and their muma started deciding that they want to paint black babies and i mean i get it and but you know even with me i'm like oh i want to learn how to do this i want to <laughs> but baby some of these babies being here looking like doodle -doo on a stick i'm like uh uh this one i ain't showing this one <laughs> be challenging and then you know you then when you try to get all fancy with it i'm like i'm gonna I'm a darken the foyer right here mess around and that thing be way off and it just yeah anyway you could you could definitely go totally wrong too um but it does take a lot more layers it takes a lot more work it takes a lot more detail and yeah you could do just skin tone and shading and still come out with a nice uh, black baby you can um but I think it's more to us than that but you definitely can definitely can still you know conquer it put some beautiful hair on it and good to go um for me I see that and that's the other thing like I think you could get away with that with the uh black babies but for me with my Caucasian babies white babies I want the works in them and that's why I don't paint them myself I don't got all off topic but that's why I don't I don't paint them myself most of the time I buy them like Austin I bought him because I can't paint like that I mean honestly I think I could paint I could actually paint like that let me say this I can paint this like I could paint the Motlin and all that stuff that she did I could do all that but there are details in him the different textures the the dry skin um there's more than what you guys see on picture like he has a very skin I mean like he has a live skin 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 look like in his face that's just like no other like I've never had a a, a, a reborn like that and so um not in in Caucasian and so, and I'm very particular about my Caucasian babies because I'm black and I like babies that look familiar to me. So when I get a white baby, I want it to be as realistic as it can be. I want all the works in it because I know I can't paint them myself. So when I do get one, I want the best of the best. And so I feel like I've, I've got one of the best of the best. I think it's some more out there that I would love to see in person. So that's what I said. Let me just hold on to Austin. Cause Austin is, he, he is, he's awesome. And, but you know, I can do that. So I, I, you know, I go for that, but yeah. So I'm not saying, I guess my whole point, and I keep going back to saying this over and over is not to minimize artists that paint only Caucasian babies, but there are a million of them out there, um, versus how rare it is and hard to find, uh, well done black babies that's realistic to a real black baby um versus you know just black babies out there that's just brown you know paint on them or you know brown and black you know shading and stuff uh it's you know it's it's very hard to find and so um i think it's it's a little bit more challenging and so um but in the process of getting there 
and making these babies a lot of times there's a lot of errors that go on behind the scenes and sometimes they're just not going to be super perfect and especially with silicone people be like oh you can do it go darker go darker you can do it you can do it oh i know you can do it um and who's gonna replace this two thousand dollar kit when i mess it up yeah that's what i thought are y'all gonna buy it when it come out looking like a gooey mess <laughs> because um yeah it's so easy to mess up with silicone and then like you know like the colors like mixing so i mix my colors for the vinyl and i mix my colors for the silicone pretty much the same color combinations i use pretty much the same painting colors and so when you when you do that hold on i'm gonna show you guys i don't know if i showed you guys this before <clears throat> Ugh, no, never mind. It's got yucky on it. Okay, I don't know. This is an old pack. But, ugh. These are the... I gotta... Uh, now I can't touch my baby. So these are like silicone colors that come... It's a... Uh, it's a sampler for Smooth On. Ugh. And this is... So it comes with... Let me see. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, so those are the colors. Yep. So yeah, these are the colors that comes in this pack. And that is, I think, is it nine colors? I think it's not, yeah, it's nine. It's nine colors. And that's what I use, guys. Let me wash my hands over here. Ah, <clears throat> oh, boy. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But yeah, um, yeah, so those are the colors that I use with silicone. And pretty much kind of use those same colors with to paint my Reborns. And that's rather I paint light skin, white, black whatever color that I'm trying to use I use those same colors over and over and over again but the colors translate a little differently in silicone so um yeah another thing is <clears throat> before I go because this video is getting pretty long one of the other myths that cracks me up is that well I'm gonna say myth because it is true um silicone the the, the hair so when the hair is rooted, you cannot seal it from the inside because this is a solid silicone. And so there's no way, unless you cut top of the head off, well, yeah, even then, there's no way really truly to, to seal silicone, right? But what people don't mention to you guys while everybody's like, oh my God, and then the hair can just fall out, and oh my gosh, and you guys got ball reborns and the, the whole back of the head ball headed, and y'all talking about the silicone. But anyway, we go worry about that. Um, but what they fail to tell you is that silicone is like glue. Like it is literally a very glue tacky um, thing. So just think once they're matted and everything else, you get little stuff that cling to them and stick to them. So imagine the, the unmatted stickiness in, of the raw silicone like a freaking super glue almost. <laughs> and you stick this little fine piece of hair inside there it's locked honey it is locked I had silicone baby from um, Roz Bailey back in the day and she she didn't directionally root and she wasn't like the best rooter but she rooted like a lot of hair I could literally comb that baby hair and just be like ink, 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 and it would not come out okay not saying that you should be doing that <laughs> but I'm just saying that the, the hair takes quite a bit more than what you think to come out. So it's not just going to just be falling out and if you lay it on the pillow, it's going to just fall out and all that. That is why there are silicone babies that's been around for 10, 11 years, 12 years 
with finely rooted hair that still has every strand of the hair. So, you know, everything that we do in life, you know, definitely has its pros and cons and definitely is can be a case by case scenario. If you don't take care of what you have, no matter how good, how quality, what it is, it's not going to last you. But if you take good care of yourself and do as needed to, you know, preserve it, it's going to last. I don't put no plastic bags on my baby's head. I don't, they don't sleep on satin pillows. Hell, they ain't sleeping on a satin pillow. I ain't got no satin pillow. I ain't doing all this, putting no plastic bags over them when I change them and dress them and all that. All this stuff, some of that stuff actually gonna be causing y'all more problems than y'all realize though. That's, that's the funny part about it. People see one person do something, they jump and run with it. And then when that person realized that it caused them issues, they ain't coming back to tell y'all that they told y'all wrong. Um, but hey, that's y'all business, but I'm just telling you, I am enjoying my dolls to the fullest. If all the paint fall off of them and all the hair is bald, oh well, the one thing about the silicone is still going to feel nice in a sleeper and a hat and, <laughs> and I'm going to enjoy it anyway. So it is what it is. Um, with my vinyl babies, I'm going to love them rather they, you know, whatever because vinyls can go shiny and all kinds of stuff but guess what i'm gonna still love my dolls regardless um and if i don't love them i'm gonna sell them so it is what it is but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the long chat i will talk to you guys later and bye bye for now